welcome to the next part of our four part series on the TDM unit and we're just going to do a quick uh, summary and go over you know my thoughts on the on the on the unit and the good points and the, the bad points because my hopes were quite high when I heard about this unit coming up but um actually using it it's um it's not really the finished product to be to be completely honest with you I mean it's still got a bit of potential and there's some situations where you can use it but Let's go over the good and the bad, and then you can really decide yourself whether it's something that interests you. Okay, so let's start off with the good. Okay, so it is like most Hit Vision products, very high build quality. The picture quality of the the of the pictures is very good, um, and you know the touch does work. It's it's responsive, and um, yeah, so it has been built well. It looks good. They've done a good job there. Okay. And if you were thinking about, you know, replacing your old intercom where maybe you've got, you know, a triple unit or even more, you can um, obviously now just go to a double unit. Okay, so it'd just be the, the door station and this unit and it can do a whole bunch of stuff now in just having the two units. Okay. And yeah, you can retrofit this. So any... Old, if you have an old intercom system, this I mean the modular intercom system, and you like the look of this, then just talk to your HitVision installer. I'm sure he'll be happy to help you out by taking out the old keypad or fob reader, whatever you had in there, and replacing it with the with the higher quality uh, TDM unit. Okay, now let's go over to the bad points. Okay, so yeah, this is this is just the biggest problem. With the whole unit it, it completely messes up everything to be honest with you it's just that the screen is just too small and when you go to the keypad mode for example the keypad is even they haven't even gone to the edges of this unit i mean it is so small hitting on the buttons i don't know how some people will even be able to use it uh, let alone members of the public when they you know how do you know who's going to be using it it's okay if you've got a, like an internal business or something like that and um, you can figure it out and explain it to people, but yeah, guys, the, it's just too small. The, look at the size of the buttons on this image as well. I mean, they're tiny. They are tiny. Okay, and it is really, really expensive, guys. I mean, it's about three times the cost of the door station, and the door station contains a camera. Um, it is, uh, yeah, I, I'm guessing this might come down in price in the future, or it might be coming on sale, so... Um, I'm not too sure guys, but it is very expensive and um, only recommended it as for, for high-end places if you are going to go for it. Okay, so the lack of features and customization. Okay, so there's there's so much you could do with this unit and it's just not there. I mean, you should be able to at least customize maybe the colors, the, the, the button size, you know, a little, there, there should be more stuff you could, should be able to do with it. I mean, it's a digital panel, guys. That means you can theoretically put anything you like on there and they just make it really, you know, hard to use and just nothing, nothing, there's nothing extra there that you can't do already, basically, apart from the advertising mode. But, you know, that's not a practical thing, right? That's not a function. So, yeah, lack of features and customization, a big issue. And this is another big issue, guys. So if maybe you're using it for your own property, you live there, and you don't want anyone disturbing you, go for this unit because some people won't be able to even use it. Okay, so this is good if you if you want to have this unit and you're worried about people ringing it all the time. Don't worry about that, guys. Just set it up so they you know you put it straight into keypad mode or whatever. I don't know, but. It's this, it won't be easy for, for the public to use. I mean, imagine a block of flats and someone tells you you, you you have to go to this flats for whatever reason and you get one of these units. You're going to have to have a sign up explaining to people how to use it. I mean, this, this, the whole save, save um, the space saving is, is gone completely if you have to put a sign up. And it just makes the whole thing look really bad. So unfortunately, guys, this is my summary and it's not a great one. But, I mean, the one positive you could do for this, if you, it's basically an expensive fob reader, guys, if you wanted to use it like that. Um, so if you've got a high-end customer, they just want a fob reader, they want something a little bit extra, a little bit special, put some pictures on, put the house number on, 
and go for this. But that's that's how I would sell it, guys. A really, really expensive fob reader. So unfortunately, there might be some future upgrades for it that might improve the functionality. But for now, I'm a little bit disappointed, guys, unfortunately. Um, but um, it is what it is, I'm afraid. So I'm going to wrap this one up. And got a couple more videos coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. And I'll catch you there, hopefully. Cheers. Bye-bye.